Hi, today I'm just going to be doing a quick review of Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver for the Nintendo DS. I got the Soul Silver version. I'm not going to go into the details of the game mechanics. You catch Pokemon, battle Pokemon in turn based battles, the end. There's no great graphical leap between the Diamond Pearl Platinum games and the Heart Gold Soul Silver. There are some very subtle graphical improvements. But unless you had two DS's side by side and you were comparing the two versions, I guarantee you will not notice the difference. I have played most of the previous versions of Pokemon. I never actually purchased one myself until Pearl came out. But since I completely missed the, the Johto region of Pokemon, uh, that's coupled with the Pokewalker thingy here. Uh, I actually decided to go ahead and buy this version. Now the gameplay of a Pokemon game is incredibly solid. The story is absolutely terrible, almost non-existent in fact. Graphics still aren't good, but that's never really been the concern that Nintendo have had when making the games. I actually had quite a large problem playing this game. I haven't actually finished it. I can't be bothered, because it's the same exact game every time, except with different character names and different Pokémon. They're all pretty much the same, the same kind of attacks, really. You'll only ever use about the same six to eight Pokemon throughout the entire course of the game, making the other 140 completely pointless. If you actually own any previous versions of a Pokemon game, I wouldn't recommend buying this. The only reason I got suckered into buying it was for the Pokewalker thing, so I thought I could level up my Pokemon while I go for a jog. So I thought that would be awesome. Now, I think the Pokewalker is a good, uh, innovative, novel little idea. This is it here. It's basically just a pedometer and you attach it to your belt or something, and when you go for a walk, for every step you take, your Pokémon gains experience points. When it comes out the packet, it looks just like this. Smooth, round. How are you meant to attach that to yourself? Well, they have a separate back, which has a clip on it. I hope you can see that there. But, you need to screw the back off of it first, with a tiny little screwdriver. Uh, absolutely tiny. I don't even own a screwdriver. So, I don't know, do they want me to go out and buy a screwdriver just so I can replace the back, which should already be on it, because what can you do with this? Uh, you could put it in your pocket and go for a walk, even though it says in the instruction manual not to do that. So, you basically have to, if you want to use it, stick this one on the back. Uh, were they planning on releasing their own brand of Pokemon screwdrivers specifically to do this? I don't know. Anyway, how the actual Pokewalker works is a complete farce. You get your DS and you send your Pokemon to the Pokewalker so that you can take that away for you on a walk. Uh, but during the entire time you take that away, it can only go up one level. So if you have walked to the end of the street and back, you may have leveled up a low level Pokemon. Or you could run a marathon, and it would still only gain the same amount of experience. What I think is even worse than that is that your Pokémon cannot learn new moves using the Pokéwalker. So if you hit uh, a level threshold where your Pokémon is supposed to learn an awesome new move, which you really need to beat the game, say, uh, and you're not aware of this because you haven't previously looked it up in a strategy guide, and you take your Pokemon out for a walk, you're going to miss that move completely, and you're screwed! Unfortunately, what that means is you're never going to want to take your good Pokemon out for a walk, which defeats the point entirely, right? <sighs> okay, maybe I'm not being very fair here. I understand that they want to try and limit how you use the Pokewalker so that you don't, say, attach it to your dog's collar and send him out for a walk and then instantly get a level 99 Pokémon from all the experience you've accumulated. But if I would rather do that than actually play the game and level up in the traditional manner, then perhaps Nintendo haven't made as compelling a game as they hoped. Back to the game. They keep trying to cram all these crap mini-games into a Pokémon game. Heart Gold Soul Silver now has a crappy athletics mini-game which will have you stabbing the screen of your DS with the stylus. These minigames are always so bad that I only ever play them once so that I can see what they're like and then think, oh, that's crap, and then never play them again. Thankfully, you don't have to play them to complete the game. I really don't know why they put them in. They're a complete waste of time. If they feel they have to add these things all the time, 
then maybe they should concentrate harder on their actual core game. Maybe they could make a storyline or something, or improve the graphics, or not make the same freaking game every time. Now after everything I've just said, you'll probably think that I hate the game. I don't. Uh, I like it. It's a good game. Like I said, good gameplay. Addictive. Although I did stop playing, but that's because it's just the same game every time. Every Pokemon since the first one has been exactly the same. Nintendo have a Wii console. Why don't they use the amazing graphics? Well, they're not that amazing, but they have a lot better than a DS, right? Why don't they use the Wii's power to make a good Pokemon RPG? I'd play that. I might even buy a Wii just to play that game if they did it well. I know even if they did do that, it would be very similar. They would probably just make it 3D and stuff. But that's fine, at least it would be a step in the right direction. What I'd actually like to see from a Wii version of Pokemon would be using the cartoon of Pokemon. You could write a, a fairly decent story, as far, as far as a Pokemon game goes anyway, um, with, you know, Ash, Misty and Brock. Gotta have Brock, right? He's awesome. And you could tell the story using cartoons. Okay, I've uh, gone a little off topic from talking about Heart Gold and Soul Silver there, so I'm just going to wrap this up now. I uh, apologise if you're expecting some sort of theatrical extravaganza. I was planning on doing a, a bit more of a, an ambitious review with uh, a little toy Pikachu and electricity and things and some game footage, not a lot. I've been so behind on my production of my other videos that I thought I would just make this a quick review so that I have something to upload for you. In conclusion, if you don't own a Pokemon game, you should buy this. The Pokewalker is a complete waste of time. Unfortunately, nice idea, but it failed. So that was my review of Pokemon!